In the long history of war, it may have been one of the craziest, downright laughable ideas, a so-called gay bomb. The idea was that um, if soldiers suddenly all became um, irresistible to one another, that unit morale and cohesion would, would break down and the enemy would be unable to resist. The idea of a non-lethal chemical bomb containing aphrodisiacs was among nearly 200 proposals the Pentagon received in 1994, this one from an Air Force lab in Ohio. It pitched what it called a distasteful but completely non-lethal example, especially if the chemical also caused homosexual behavior. The Defense Department says it had all the ideas reviewed, and that the gay bomb proposal was among those not making the cut. The Pentagon released a statement saying it never investigated the concept. It was just one individual putting together a concept paper with a variety of examples that were rejected. But members of the California watchdog group Sunshine Project don't buy that. When the Pentagon says that they rejected this proposal, it's simply not true, and, and we have the facts to demonstrate that they've continued to think about it and to consider it in the years since it was first raised. In San Francisco's Castro District, the idea of a gay bomb, whether considered or not, was good for some laughs. Do they really think that, like, <laughs> faced with, like, guns and, like, being killed, they're really going to choose sex? People still have such a misunderstanding of sexuality in general, not just homosexuality, but sexuality in general, that they think that it could be used as a weapon. Like, when, when has that ever worked? Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, Washington.